So next week on November the 1st, I know that on the November the 3rd we're going to have an election, but on November the 1st, isn't it, is that the All, All Saints, Saints Day? Correct. And then the following day, which is November 2nd, All Souls Day. I know, I've heard this several times. Every year I've been checking this, but let's check it one more time. Sure, so, sure. What exactly is All Saints Day? So basically, right, Long story short, yeah. so All Saints Day and All Souls Day is it's similar to Buddhist version of the All Bon season in Japan. In Japan, yeah, right? Type so Buddhism, basically, yeah. honoring the deceased people, honoring the people who passed away. Okay, but to me, like when I hear All Saints, I'm thinking, okay, we honor only saints, but in the case of souls, that could be all people. Anybody. Yes. Anybody else. So all souls is all the people. All the people. But all, all saints is only like uh, people who are given canonized the title, as saints. canonized as and saints. Departed, and then people, it's like a remembrance day kind of thing. And so why do we have both these days? Why don't we just have all people's day or something? Well, that's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But, so, you know, both days are, you know, about the same. I mean... And what, okay, example, in the Catholic religion, what do people in, say, America do on All Saints Day? What, what do they do exactly? Mostly go to church to have, you know, to pray, right? Doing the Mass. Yeah, and the people who celebrate this, they're not just Catholics. They can be also uh, Protestant. Or... Some Protestant communities, such as Anglicans hmm. and Lutherans and Eastern Orthodox as well. Right. Uh, even though that those Lutherans broke away in the 16th century. Correct. Well, they but had they, to break away. They're forced to break but away. Even right? they're breaking away, but the, the <laughs> way they're celebrating, it's about the same. With my knowledge. Okay, so they're celebrating these saints, and are there any particular saints that will be celebrated on All Saints Day? Is there any... Because all means everybody. All of them, I know, yeah, but are there any... Uh, I mean, do people focus on one saint? No, no. not really. They focus on them all. all. So, uh, going over then to the All Saints Day, which is usually the next day or two days later? Or the next day, isn't it? Or what is do you it? mean by the... What do, what well, do we mean? have All Saints Day. That's let's November first. November first. All Souls so, is uh, November second. All Souls is November second. So, is there any difference in what people would physically do on the on the on the second day? Go on to the mass. Second? They go to mass church. on the All yes. Souls Day. Yes, All in Saints the, Day as well. As well. Yes. And uh, would there be any difference as a non-Catholic, non-Protestant, non-Lutheran? Uh, would there be any difference in the prayer, say, on All Saints Day and All All Souls Day? Uh, they do have a specific prayer, okay? Right. And uh, I'm not, which I'm not going to discuss in this this uh, episode, but they do have, yes. But uh, still go to mass, and after that, some people. But as far as what you're thinking about, is on the on the on the first. Presumably, when you go to the type of church that you believe in, you'd have to be thinking about. Saints on the first remembrance, of remembrance them. of the saints and the de but the decease of anybody, maybe your relatives on the second, mm. that would be different in different. your mind yes. as you're praying. Yes, I just wanted to sort of clarify now, that. So now, all souls days is similar because you you are the practitioner of Buddhism, right? So I am, and I know that you may think that it's linked, you know, Obon, which is very famous in Japan, and I have experiences of so Obon. mid August, correct? Right. Um, Obon is uh, in remembrance to the relatives as well, and there are different sects in Japan that, you know, celebrate this whole thing quite differently. Mm, okay. Quite, yeah, and How about uh, in, your, in your denomination, well, it's a there's a bit of a squabble going on, and I also wouldn't want to go into that in okay. this in this particular video about the date and the time of Obon. But there are certain, you know, there's a lot of cases which we're definitely going to talk about in another video mm. um, about people having experiences at Obon. And I personally, too, have had an experience, a couple of experiences at Obon uh, regarding uh, deceased relatives. And this is very interesting. So I was wondering, I mean, uh, apparitions or, okay, in my case, I won't go into details now, but it wasn't an apparition, but... I've heard similar things in Christianity, similar things linked to Buddhism, but uh, 
like, uh, for instance, there I was very briefly, if I might say, I was in, uh, in my toilet at uh, about 10.30 p.m. Wow. And, uh, and I saw this gray white light. Mm. And um, this was Obon season in Japan. Okay. okay, so what I'm trying to link here is if it's possible, anyway, it's Obon season in Japan, and I hadn't heard uh, from uh, my, my, my Australian grandfather was a pool player. And, okay. I, and at that time, I was also playing billiards myself. So I'm sitting on the toilet, 10.30 at night, and there's this grey-white light, and I hear this voice. I don't see anything, but I hear this voice which says, I'm watching you play. And it wasn't like hearing in an Australian accent, because my grandfather was oh, okay, okay. Australian, but I, I heard this voice, I'm watching you play. And I, of course, I hadn't had any experience like this before, so I was all goose pimp. Uh, kind of goose pimply and kind of shocked and uh, I finished my business and went out into the kitchen and talked to my wife and I had a very strong feeling that uh, my Australian grandfather who incidentally I didn't really know very well I'd only seen him for like one month in uh, Sandringham Melbourne Australia so I didn't really but, but anyway he obviously it seems that he was watching me and uh, now, whether this is linked to Buddhism or what this is linked to is very, very hard to tell. And anyway, what I was wondering was, like, on since we, we're talking about All Saints Day and All Souls Day, especially All Souls Day, which is November 2nd this year. Correct. Every year. Now, every November 2nd. Do, are there any Christian people that pray to, for instance, their ancestors on that day? And have they had any kind of, um, I mean... Do, do, for lack of a better word, contact with their ancestors? It varies, but I, in my own experience, yes, to be contact. Yes. They're contacted. So they're, they're praying to their deceased relatives for some kind of um, guidance as well. Yes, because if we don't pray, yeah, they won't be guided. You, 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 we don't pray to, and so would we, we pray, pray to, to our ancestors to, or to God that you know to we pray to God, okay? So that the people who are departed or deceased, you know, bless them, right? Because we are we, so the human beings who stay in this planet are responsible. Uh, responsible, yes. So, you, so in your case, in the Christian, and I, I think that covers uh, Lutherism, Catholicism, Protestant, Presbyterian, to uh, some Orthodox, Orthodox, uh, praying to God, and then somehow linking to the dead relative, yeah. somehow. Oh, but yeah. in my case, okay, I mean, I, I'm trying to sort of see some kind of comparison here, hmm. because I've heard remarkable stories from both sides of the world, but in a different kind of light. Because here in Japan, there's lots of stories and lots of true stories, I feel, of Japanese people, mainly, of course, who have had, on at Obon, have received some kind of uh, guidance or, or connection with their relatives, uh, at the, at the, especially on the time of Obon. And when I heard my grandfather, anyway, from Australia, hmm. you know, I, I didn't even know that the meaning of Obon was this kind of contact with the relatives. So mm, mm. Uh, I wasn't aware of that. And then, then, obviously, after the, the, uh, the little incident, if you like, occurred, uh, of course, I started checking. So mm. getting, getting back to the, um, the All Saints Day, um, can I just clarify... Um, what it mean? I mean, not just anybody becomes a saint, right? No. So you have to have a proof. You have to have a proof that you did really, really well during this lifetime. It takes time to get investigated. So um, the character, like say Mother Teresa, isn't really a saint necessarily, is she? What is uh, she? Well, uh, Father Damien. Father is Damien a is a saint. Yeah. And also uh, the late uh, John Paul II, the Pope. Late John Paul II is a, is regarded or has He's been saint already. is a saint. Yes, which so, is unusual. So okay, yeah. so we pray to the saints, but what do we? I mean, I don't pray to the saints, so I'm wondering yeah, yeah, what okay. what exactly happens to these saints. I mean, 
Is there a different thing that happens to the saint, to ordinary people? What, what happens to them? So let me straight this up. So I don't have to be a saint you know, to be, do the uh, saint's work. I can do, I can help the people around the world just like the saints did. Of course, I uh, understand that. So that's, yeah. that's the way, that's the only way I can answer to your question. Okay, so we don't know then, what is it, the saints go, I mean, I had the, I had the understanding that the saints have to travel to heaven or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, possibly they have a, a more uh, secure place, let's say, in heaven than others. Mm, no, that's, I don't no, we don't really I know. Um, I'm just wondering, what would, what do you think out there? I mean, somebody does, a real, let's say they've, they've gone through their life and they've been really nice people hmm. and they've helped all these people. I nearly said a hell of a lot of people, but <laughs> they've helped all these people and then they're regarded as a saint or being canonized as a saint. And what do you think happens to that kind of person um, after they die, we really like to know. Okay. I mean, no, but this is you know, it's a hypothetical question. So that's all saints and the old souls. I mean, what with how do you feel that it is necessary? How do you pray to your relatives mm. on All Souls Day? I mean, what do you say in your mind? It's just okay. Pray to my, you know, pray to my relative. Is, how it's do you, up. It's up to you. The way you pray, is that? I mean, could you tell us how do you how do you? Well, have, you you can sell, you can ask the priest to have a special mass just for the person. Okay, so you can That's, nominate the person and have a special mass. Yeah, so, or number two, you just uh, pray to be the rosary, right? Uh, and then thinking about him or her, and then keep up the prayer. Okay, so you got the beads and the rosary and. Uh, do you feel each bead one by one? Well, that rosary? one is, no, okay, rosary, you know, I'm not going to elaborate too much, but the rosary, mm -hmm. basically, you know, you talk about uh, Hail Mary and then uh, several times and Our Father several times, and it's kind of... Uh, you go so round the rosary. Round the rosary, right? So you, but... But doing that, at the same time, you honor the people that you know who are deceased or departed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a bit like the uh, Japanese, uh, very old, the uh, Juzu, you're holding the juzu, you've got the four bodhisattvas on on the juzu. I'm also not going to really elaborate totally, but... I mean, uh, you, you, you honor... You are honoring your relatives. And uh, I think when, I, when I'm when i chanting, I focus sometimes, if I remember to, on certain deceased relatives. Mm. Uh, and I try to go through uh, a list, say, of four or five, if, if I'm concentrating on a better night and focus on them and hope that they come back in a more wonderful mm. uh, condition than before. Mm. Mm. Wow, blessing. It is. Yeah. So, and, um, well, we, we're just wondering, posing these questions, because it's, it's not November the 1st yet, and it's not November the 2nd yet. Mm. And this year, we've got three important days. We've got November the 1st uh, is religiously important, uh, November the 2nd is religiously important. Of course, we've got November the 3rd, which is politically important. Yes, so That's in the United States only. That's in the United States only, but it's going to have a big impact on yeah. what happens next. Right. So, well, so it's a coincidence. Huh? Yeah, it is. All right. So, uh, we look forward to hearing your comments. Thank you.